Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome! I'm Adrienne. I live in New York City. I love beautiful things. And today, in particular, you will see I really love beautiful things. That is why I decided to purchase some items from this brand that I have never tried before. And I am not ashamed to say it's the packaging that got me to purchase six items from this brand. So the brand that I purchased from is ZC Cosmetics, Z Z E E S E A uh, Cosmetics. They are based out in China. They have this relationship with the British Museum and they do, it seems as though they do a lot of collections in conjunction with them to sort of celebrate art. Some of their collections just seemed out of this world. And I also picked up some items that just looked really interesting. There's Peanut, she's joining me in today's video. She's very curious about what I purchased. And I thought I'd put it on my face. I don't have anything on my face other than a cosmetic CC cream. I got a blush, two lipsticks, a mascara, an eyeshadow topper, and an eyeshadow palette. So let me show you the blush first. Packaging is really pretty. It has like a holographic design. Just says powder blush. Oh, and look how nice the packaging is. So it's the same really like high glossy kind of plastic enamel -y with this hollow. Um, the shade I picked up was three. It actually comes with a pretty nice size mirror considering uh, how small the compact it is. And this looks like a toasty peach color so with a really pretty emboss embossing and it looks like it has the tiniest bit of like flex shimmer flex but nothing too crazy so i'm gonna go in with my favorite blush brush from wayne goss the number 11 and i use this brush because it's sort of like the best brush to pick up any blush so when i don't know if a blush is going to perform well oh but this is pretty it's performed just fine to give blushes a fair shot i always go in with my favorite brush so that's really soft let's see if we can build it up a bit more and we can and i have to say it's mostly matte it doesn't have a lot of shimmer you know i can't see any discernible shimmer whatsoever. Definitely a very nice matte blush. And I found their prices to be pretty reasonable and that you could look online for like a coupon. I used I think like a 15% off coupon and it came so quickly and it was packaged impeccably. Impeccably, impeccably. I don't mind if I have to order from so far away if it's done with lots of care. So that's that blush, really pretty. Really like it. I'll have to report back and let you know, you know, does it have good wear time? Right now it's kind of evening. I was just too excited. I had to open this pack. Um, what should I do next? Let me put on eyebrows and I'm gonna be right back. I wanna test out the colors of the lipsticks first that I purchased, which are probably the most beautiful pieces of art I've ever seen. The first lipstick I got is called the Palace Identity Guilt gold dragon velvet lipstick and this is the packaging right here it's just stunning packaging it's a beautiful beautiful gift box so you open it up and look at this bullet so beautiful it is a full dragon wrapped around this gold bullet and i love that the dragon is a little kind of a little richer, brighter gold. So you really see the contrast. And this color is the M05. And of course it's magnetic. And you'll see like no detail is left. The lipstick itself also is like a work of art. These carvings, focus, focus. Oh, look at that, that really works. It's just beautiful. So this line is all kind of red shades of lipstick. So I picked kind of a mid-tone. I don't know. 
That's the one thing about the website. Um, sometimes the lip swatches are just a little, I would have preferred to just clearly see in one example, all of them, all of the shades swatched so I could like tonally see how different it's gonna be. We're gonna give this a shot. Mmm, has the slightest Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution lipstick smell, actually. Ooh, pretty. This is a very creamy, creamy lipstick. Oh, I like this color. I'm trying my hardest to stay within the lines. This reminds me very much of the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution lipstick it has that thinness to it it also has that oh my lines the lines are terrible wait a second we need to rescue this i'm not going to fuss too much because i'm literally going to be taking off this lipstick but it's this pretty kind of um yellow based red it has like a tiny bit of orange in it it's certainly brighter and i feel like a very nice fun wearable red for springtime it's a very springy red easy red easy red to wear and yeah the formula is very thin has a little bit of that oil it's not totally flat flat matte it has it's a satin finish but it's lovely it's really really lovely i love it with this orange or yellow yellow sweater too very pretty very pretty formula I'm glad it's not just that the product is beautiful. The formula of the lipstick is also beautiful. Oof, very excited. This is gonna like live out in my area. I mean, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful piece of art. I mean, oh. So definitely we'll let you know about the wear of this, but I like the color. I mean, it, it just, you could tell how quickly it just, brightens up the face and this is exactly kind of the look I would go for really clean skin uh my filled in brow maybe some mascara a nice little cheek and just the pop of the lip it's just so so nice um let me wipe this off which always makes me sad and we will try the next lipstick all right left not really a stain. I didn't want to rub my lips too much because I also picked a very, I think, similar color. And this is their Picasso line. So they had all of these different lipsticks and they had quite a few shades. And again, really hard to tell what kind of shade. I wanted to pick something I was going to use a lot. So probably is not going to be the most exciting color, but this was actually the product that pushed me kind of into exploring the brand because I love Picasso. I love Picasso's art and this container, this component is the most beautiful component I've ever seen. It has, um, I believe it's the, it's like the Ladies d'Avignon on it. And this is not, I'm actually so shocked when I'm now seeing it. I wonder if you can tell. This is like etched in. So this is all textured and it's like, it has these insets. I don't know how, how to kind of show you this. This is all sort of matte and all has like these insets. Yeah, they're just like layered insets of, of the painting. I mean, this is stunning. When you see what packaging can be, this is something that you want to use forever. Now that I see how well made the actual package is, I wish that the lipstick component inside was refillable so you can keep this forever. It's also magnetic, beautiful. It also is embossed on top. Oh, and the embossment, I don't know if you can see, it's also Picasso. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. I hope it's at least as good as the other formula, which for me is my ideal formula. I don't like something too slippy, but I don't like something too matte. Uh, mm. Yes, it is. And this is more orangey, 
but with like a little bit of brown in it almost. Oh, I like that. And it can create, I can already tell, a very blotted lip appearance, which makes sense because that's such a popular look in Asia. Mmm. Such a nice, creamy, creamy feel. And yeah, this is definitely more orange, but not like too bright in your face. It is a wearable orange, like a warmed, spiced orange color, a pumpkin color. Really, really beautiful. I'm glad I, I picked this shade. And this was shade number 923. Ooh, I love this. I love this. And this formula feels like it has a little bit more slip, a little more sheen than the previous formula. But still, like very emollient, feels very hydrating on the lips and thin, thin. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a heavy lipstick. So I really like that. Ooh, good colors, good colors. So those were the two lip products I got. I have three other products. And these are all gonna work, I think, together. Um, oh, I hate to wipe off this this lip, but I don't think it's gonna go at all with, with my eyeshadow palette. I didn't think this out thoroughly. Let me take, mm, should I take this off? I won't take this off just yet. I'll leave it on for now. But the other, the other beautiful piece that I picked up that I just lost my mind when I saw it was this eyeshadow palette. So this is the Alice in Wonderland collection, also in conjunction with the British Museum. There's three palettes in the collection. It took a lot of self-control not to purchase all three, but I said, what if the quality sucks? And I'm stuck with three beautiful, terrible palettes. I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. So I picked the one up that I felt I was going to use the most when I felt a certain way, which I know psychologically, you don't have to understand me, but I'll make you understand me. I picked up the Alice one, which is has this beautiful like enameled coating and it has these details with this sort of like glitter background and you can see the gold of it. It's just so pretty. So it has a, like a hinge closure and then you open it and it has a big mirror, and this is the palette. And I just, I loved how this was embossed. This is embossed with Alice here in a darker kind of coral, a lighter coral. I almost feel like I could use this as a blush. I could probably use this as a blush too. Here's the flamingo that she plays croquet with against the Queen of Hearts, um, and you have these, each of these is also embossed like with the spade and the heart and the diamond, and it has a mix of mattes and shimmers and this weird topper shade, and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch everything. It also includes a double-sided brush, which I really appreciate. It feels like it's quite useful, nice quality, so not to be discarded. And I just picked this because I don't have very many kind of feminine, beautiful feminine uh, palettes. I have a lot of like fun palettes, useful neutral palettes, but not like girly feminine. And I thought to myself, what would my child self want to play with? Now as an adult, now that I can afford some things, I would want to play with this. This is the palette my child self would want. And as an adult, I got it. I got it for myself. So let me quickly swatch. How are we going to do this? So in blending the Alice shade, so this is the shade that has Alice on it. Yeah, this is a beautiful coral, not too shimmery. I feel like, yes, you can definitely use that as a blush. Let's do the Flamingo next. So this is the Flamingo color definitely also could probably be used as a blush. So this shade is these two combined when you swirl it around, and then this shade is these two combined. But you can see you have some variation there. So that's really nice if you're using them as eyeshadow 
And again, there's some like sparkly bits in there, but nothing too, too egregious, too flashy or anything. Um, let's do the top row. I'm going to do that special kind of weird shade. And this is it right here. It's almost like a duochrome, a little icy. There it is right there. And that's that shade there. Kind of a pretty topper shade peach and that's this one here much more bronzy with gold flecks that's so pretty it has a lot of pink and red some warmth in it and has all these little sparkles really really beautiful and so this is one of the matte shades here this one is certainly more where this one has a lot of glitter this one has less glitter and it's more like um bronzy like a bright bronze a bright copper this one here. So I call it a mid-tone brown. Again, it's not like a chocolate chocolate brown and it has some orangey yellow base and some warmth. And last but not least, this shade. Wow, it's this metallic. Again, has a real like oily feel to it, but it has a lot of burgundy and a lot of depth. I'm so excited to play with this palette. So let's do a quick eye look. Let's see what happens. So I'm starting off with that sort of like chocolatey shade, but I see it's it's looking much more warm, which is why I thought maybe I'm gonna use that one because I wanna keep this lipstick on if I can. And actually one other product, I should show you what the other product is, because I think I might wanna use this. So I picked up this glitter eyeshadow this is like from their regular line. Picked it up in the color three. And here's the shade, which it's like a multi-chrome. It has, it has green, it has yellow, it has pink, it has in some light like a fuchsia. And it feels like a, a super shock. And that's it there. And I will kind of swatch it over here. So I'm gonna put this on my eyes for sure. So I just wanna create a base, a simple base with the eyeshadow palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep building that brownie shade. This is gonna be an imperfect look. So just prepare yourself. This, I'm gonna use my finger, why not? And I... <clears throat> oh, wow. And it's glittery, but it's not chunky whatsoever it's really fine this is high impact this is really really beautiful and it's all like very kind of like fairy dusty mm. i'm loving that i didn't expect to get this kind of color look from the palette and also from this shadow it feels like it's gonna give you time to move it around. Oh, that's so, so pretty. Very, very impactful. There's one last product that I purchased, which is their Living Colorfully Color Mascara. This one right here. I just wanted to try different products. So I knew I wanted like the three fancy products, the two lipsticks and the um, eyeshadow palette. And I wanted to try some of their more like basic-y products. But wow, the basic-y products are really performing so well. That that glitter is just beautiful. Um, I'm definitely gonna wanna try that by itself without anything else in the eye. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and I'm gonna give this mascara a shot. I just decided to pick up some of that shade, this sort of also very color shock formula shade in the more icy color and just use that as my inner corner to brighten that up a little. Oh, I like that. I'm, I feel like very fairy-like. The shade in the Living Color Flea that I picked up was sort of the burgundy shade. I'll just show you, or no, I guess it was more like the lilac. Oh, this ain't gonna go at all. Oh, well, I'm still putting it on because I got it and I want to. I remember why I wanted to try this shade. I once purchased the L'Oreal Voluminous in like burgundy and it just didn't really work for me. And I was really upset because everyone was like, this is the best mascara and this is such a pretty color. And, and I've wanted to try color mascara. 
that works well. And actually, the ColourPop BFF mascara, I haven't had much luck with that one, actually, for whatever reason. It feels just very dry. This one, I have to say, feels pretty creamy, but it's not like wet right upon opening it. Though, I don't think the color is like that strong, which is sort of what I was going for. I wanted to get like a violet that was like a hint of violet. And so, and also just so you see the wand, it's sort of bent already, which I like because it makes application a lot easier. Hmm, I definitely see like a halo of like violet, it's nice. I like also how it's kind of the color of my eyes. It's it's um, complementing the color of my eyes very nicely, but it's just not as dramatic as I thought it was gonna be. I mean, I definitely feel it on my eyelashes for sure. And can you, see, I mean, can you tell? I don't know. And I don't have like crazy studio lights in here. This is literally just my makeup mirror that I sit in front of. So what you see with me is basically what you get. Well, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It's interesting. I'm gonna have to play around with it more. I'm also gonna have to maybe warm it up a little. Um, sometimes I sit on my, <laughs> I was gonna say this really casually. Sometimes I just sit on my mascara before I use it and it sort of like makes it all more gooey to so that it you know when you go to apply it it's the formula has been warmed up um especially in the winter that's important because it can get so cold when where i apply my makeup but um yeah i'll give that a shot but so for right now this is what i came up with i really like a lot of the products and i'm gonna have to say i'm I'm most excited about the lipsticks. I really, really like the lipsticks. I just think it's it's the thing I'm gonna use the most. I love lip products and I will use both of these shades and I'm especially coming into the springtime, it's just, they're such pretty shades. I really also like this glitter. This is really killer. I mean, the color is just, ridiculous ridiculous it's so pretty i would definitely explore to see what other shades they have because i almost kicking myself for not picking up something a little more natural but i feel like i always do that which is why i kind of was really intentional with what i picked up the blush is nice it's, i feel like very nice in it we'll see how it wears is it anything initially like when i put on that feels like phenomenal no, oh, it feels like a really nice blush. And the palette, I am excited to explore this. Um, I want to use my good brushes to apply it. I feel like there's going to be some gems here for sure, especially the sort of like burgundy metallic shade. Um, is it like the most unique color story? No, absolutely not. And it's missing a lot of depth. However, this is just so beautiful, just so, so beautiful. And I'll insert a picture of the other two palettes that are in the line, just so you could see how gorgeous those are with the checkerboard. Oh, so, so beautiful. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed playing around with new makeup. And um, if you were curious about this brand, am I the only one who saw this on like Facebook or Instagram or whatever? And I was like, oh, I gotta find out what that brand's about. I said, you know what? If I have this budget, I wanna spend it on unique things, on things that I think are gonna bring me joy instantly. Every time, every time I take this out, I'm gonna be so happy. So there's, you know, there's value to that. But I love that the product is beautiful and it looks beautiful. That's what I look for. And I mean, this is way more beautiful than Chanel or Gucci or whatever. Um, and at like a fraction of the price. I just wanted to get on and share with you before I forgot to share with you. Let me know what you're curious about in, in the brand. Are you gonna pick anything up? 
because am I the only sucker who falls for packaging? I hope not. We'll talk soon. Okay, take care. Bye.